Hi, I'm Chris. This video about the ready to educate cell will deal with taking a pen and defining a new TCP to draw a triangle with the robot. Let's become creative. In this part, we're going to use the last setup of the tutorial videos in the section 40 layout, which is the step six. So be sure if you load it into KUKA Sim to use the path where it is written step six at the end. And in addition to that, you will be able to see it up there in the naming of the file. This part, we want to take out the pen of the magazine and then go around a little triangle here. Or you can select any other path that you prefer and then put the pencil back into this magazine. So um, in the last parts, we already actually uh, had this robot where the program was already set to our take and the drop cube. So we're going to add a new method. We're going to call it take pen. And there we're going to now write a little code. So again, I'm going to use the jog functionality. I'm going to take the tool number one, which is actually the TCP bit between the gripper here. And now I'm going to snap it again with the two point method. And I'm going also to set the orientation first here, the one side of the circle here, the one and here, there. And you already see it actually placed it quite well in the middle, but uh, sadly I have still to turn it 90 degrees. Oh, I just have to change a little bit approach angle. Now I can actually start writing my program. So I'll start again with PTP motion and then a lin motion. This is kind of my new approach point. If I go now to the coordinate systems, I can click on object oriented here. So this will actually allow me to um, retract or push my gripper backwards in the minus Z direction. So I can actually, I can push the arrow here, uh, like um, maybe about, then I can set the right millimeters here, 100, and I have to push on touch up again so that it writes over the point. My second point was already predefined and now I have to make a little calculation because I want to know how much do I have to retract so that the pen can easily be being withdrawn from my magazine here. So I'm going to use this measure tab and try to measure the point of my, the tip of my, uh, point of my pen and actually uh, then I can select here the TCP that I already have. Uh, so if I click on that, it will give me a total distance of 148.5 millimeters. And with that now, I know, okay, I have to retract at least 148 millimeters. And so I can actually copy out this value and set a new lin position from here and then go back to jog and paste minus the value inside here. So I have at least this, but then I will collide or I'll be really close here to the to the magazine. So I'll add another minus uh, 30 millimeters and then touch up again. So that in theory, if I change this method to take pen and set it back and initialize the simulation what will happen is actually it goes up all the way to the point 9 and then uh, retreat to the point 10 and I have to add now this output that he has to grasp the pen here let's add also a little weight sack of 0 0.5 seconds So this works fine. Uh, 
So what I need to do next, I will actually copy the whole method here and add it again. Now it's called take pen one and I'm going to rename it just to bring back the pen. And as I have the same points right now, I just have to change actually the order. So I'm just going to push the lin point 13 all the way up and the PDP point 11 all the way down. So actually what I do have now is I have this approach point far away where there should be no collision and I'm going to change it to a point to point motion and then the lin up front and then this setback again as a lin. So actually I used the same points, the same coordinates, and I just changed the order of the points. And now I have this logical outcome. But I have also to drop the pen. So here I write false. And this to bring back the pen and uh, run it what going to do next is actually we have to create a new tool data sorry new tcp for this pen and for this we have to set the simulation and otherwise it won't be able to set a new tcp and if i go to jog and select tool data 2 and open it it's still on the flange so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to snap it and to select frame and use the same frame as my tool data one because this will be my starting point um, actually i still have the two point method here uh, which i chose so i'm just going to use the one point method and use the set position and set orientation to have exactly the same coordinates but in addition to that i will add again my 148.5 millimeters in Z so that actually it adds all the way up to the tip of my pen so here 148.5 millimeters oh actually the tool data is up front here uh, where actually the tool tip of the pen should be so this is a thing that we can now check if we go grab the pen and we stop the simulation we see okay perfect the tcp tool data 2 is right on the tip of the pen from there on now we can continue and write a little program um, where we want to actually redraw this little triangle so i'm going to add a new function call it triangle So from this point where I have actually my, my pen in the gripper and I can now snap um, the next object with my selected tool data too. So if I go here, I have the whole um, pen and stuff. I'm not going to set the orientation right now. So I want actually to have the, um, the robot as is. And um, I'm going to select now here the lowest of the cylinders because it's the easiest way to select the point. You can also just go in this triangle as, as you wish. Just going to click on that. And as you see, well, the point collide or the pen collides here with the triangle. So I'm just going to change the orientation of the robot as it looks best for me. Also use here it's 180 just going to create two points here I'm just going to with my right click I select this empty line now I click on PTP and a lin so this will be again my approach point the approach from my maybe 50 millimeters in Z, so it's going to be here, my approach, and then going down to this corner of this triangle. And now I can continue, I can snap again, leave the orientation, click again on Lin. 
and then the same again. Again on Blin. And then you have the whole program. Now we might want to go back to the point 15. So what I'm going to do, you can copy this point, right mouse click on copy. Then um, you go to the lowest point and you click paste. What we actually want is to reuse exactly the same uh, coordinates as this point has. So you don't want to create one new one. So I'm get going to go here on the statement properties, the target point and reselect actually the point 15. So now you see it's called not point 18, but it's switched to point 15. And as soon as I change this one, it will automatically also change that one. We're going to do the same actually for the next point, the point 14. We're just going to select here the target point, point 14. In addition to that, actually I don't want to drive down between the point 14 and 15 at 2 meters per second. So I'm going to reduce the velocity here to maybe um, 1 meter per second. And then when he draws this uh, triangle, I want to select all points to 0 0.5. So I click on the first point and press shift and click on the last point. It selects all the points in between and then I can 0 0.5 here and you see it changed them all at the same time and again I want to have the way up uh, a little bit slower now I just have to call this function in between so I'm going to call it the triangle and run it and let's see what happens Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to see more interesting videos about KUKA's simulation world, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Industrial Intelligence